Michael Corleone is the textbook example of a psychopath. Candace DeLong has been on the front lines of some of the FBI's most gripping cases, including being one of the three agents to carry out the manhunt for the Unabomber. We wanted her to analyze the biggest and baddest villains from Hollywood. This is Michael Corleone. A lot of people look at Michael Corleone as the classic example of a tragic hero, a romantic figure whose bad decisions ultimately led to his demise. A better definition is that Michael Corleone is the textbook example of a psychopath. When we first see Michael, he's just come back from the war, and he's very quick to show disgust for his family's affairs. He claims, that's not me. It's not me. But Michael doesn't know his true self yet. When people hear the word psychopath, they generally think of someone who's crazy, delusional, hearing voices, monster, like Norman Bates. But with Michael Corleone, we see a psychopath who's charming, calculating, and intelligent. When he thinks his father may be killed in the hospital, that's what lit the fuse to his psychopathy. A true psychopath, by definition, is not mentally ill. They have a personality disorder. Psychopaths are born, not made. And Michael Corleone always had it in him. Michael showed a total lack of empathy when he had dinner with the guy, looked him in the eyes, chatted, and then put a bullet in his head. The hallmark characteristic of a psychopath, they don't feel guilt when they do something wrong. This murder set Michael on a path to being at the top of the mafia food chain. I would argue that it showed him who he really was. He had it in him all along. You may be saying, how is he a psychopath if this is the first and only time we see him killing anyone? Right, he's no Patrick Bateman. Michael's a white collar psychopath. He doesn't like to get his hands dirty. He gets other people to do his dirty work. He's a user and abuser of people. Michael's relationship with Kay tells us everything we need to know about his psychopathic tendencies. Michael only sees his relationship with Kay as a functionality for getting something that he needs, the image of a strong man with a devoted family. Does it feel like a boy? Yes, yes it does, Michael. It was simply all about image. The running theme is, it's business, not personal. Michael was only business. He treated her like a business. That's a psychopath. A Denver policeman had been shot dead. Because an officer is down, somebody needs to pay. Here's a guy who's making millions of dollars as a doctor. I woke up in the morning and he wasn't there. He took his fingers like this and he said, I am a bad man. Vanity Fair Confidential, all new series, premieres Monday, January 19th at 9, only on Investigation Discovery.